So I've been having a bunch of trouble exporting my programming tutorials using Camtasia 2 for Mac. Most of the time they're coming out really fuzzy and especially the text is coming out fuzzy and I can't have that because um, you know people need to see the code clearly in my videos. So what I hope this video can be is a starting point for a conversation on how you can export clear videos for YouTube using Camtasia 2 for Mac and I hope you will share your suggestions and improvements um, on the settings I have here um, so that we can all have more clear videos. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just pop over to a few different files so you can see some examples. Um, here is a couple different PHP files and we have a website right here. This is Laravel's website. Um, here is my own website, Freight Forum. Um, so uh, we can just look at a few more things. Here's the finder. So this video is going to be exported using the same settings that I'm going to tell you here. Um, so you'll be able to see exactly what you should be getting. So first of all, if you're recording at full screen, the first thing you want to do is go into your Camtasia and go into Preferences and then Canvas and then set Scale by Percentage to 100%. This will be set by um, 50% uh, by default. Um, let's see if we can get Camtasia open here. Let's open up one of these projects. And then so you'll go into uh, the Preferences here and then just go to Canvas and set Scale by Percentage to 100%. Once you've finished recording and editing your video, um, you're going to want to export it. And the way I recommend you to do that is share and then go to Advanced Export. So go to Advanced Export and then Export to QuickTime Movie. And then when you see the options, set the compression type to H.264. And I've set the frame rate to current. Um, basically, you can set your frame rate um, before you record it. So if I go back over uh, to the preferences here. Um, I believe in, under the recording here you can set your frame rate so you can record at 15 frames per second or 30 whatever. Um, so I just leave that as current so it's going to be whatever it was when I was recording. The next thing under the video settings button set the quality to best and the, enco the encoding to best quality multipass. When you're exporting to .mov files, you also will have a filter option. And I've uh, played around a bit with this, but I've found the best way is not to use the filter at all. The size part is really important, and I've found um, just using the current one is the best. That way your video is not being stretched or it's not being, you know, um, basically transformed to, to a size that wasn't its original size. So I've had the best results just using the current one so far and I've left um, deinterlaced source video as unchecked. The sound settings that YouTube recommends when using Camtasia is to leave the sound at AAC and set the encoding strategy to constant bitrate. But I think you'll find, um, at least in the version of um, Camtasia that I have, um, this option is available but it doesn't stick. When you select it, as soon as you leave that page, um, it goes back to whatever it, one, it was originally. After you've finished exporting your video, um, you can check the size of it. So the way you will check the size of it uh, is to go over to your finder. Let me get my finder open here. Here I have an MOV file right here. So I'll just control click this MOV file and I'll click get info. And then under the more info tab, you'll be able to see the dimensions of your video. And using a 15 inch MacBook Pro, my dimensions were uh, 2880 by 1800. So if you were recording full screen and your settings were set to recording at 100%, you should have quite a big number right here.